Welcome to December Daily. This is day one, um, as explained in the introductory video. The daily videos will take the form uh, two parts. Uh, one would be the actual prompt of the day, and the second part, or whichever way they get edited, will be the the, the daily journaling tip or theme or idea or discussion or term, something that you can pull through um, into your journaling skills. So today is mindfulness and um, what it means for journaling. Mindfulness is really a term that we are hearing a lot. It's in the media a lot um, and it almost becomes um, less valuable the more you hear it and the more you say it. Definitely for December daily, it's very applicable. Mindfulness in its most simple and basic form is focused attention and awareness. Um, so you are paying attention on purpose. You are busy with what you are busy with. And um, the journaling item that we are discussing today is preparing a themed journal and working around a themed journal. Theme journals can take uh, many guises. It can be themed to a era or a picture or an item, a butterfly journal or a Art Deco journal. Or it can be something like it is themed around its purpose for quotes, for gratitude, for keeping track of finances, for goals. So Another comment that I want to make on mindfulness and journaling is to be prepared for your journaling. I don't think a golfer goes out onto the course and says, oh, I don't have my gloves, I don't know where I put my ball, my clubs aren't here. And as creatives, we often pride ourselves, my desk is so messy, I can hardly walk, uh, I don't know where I put my things, I spent an hour searching for my scissors. And that actually doesn't respect your time and your yourself. You're not valuing your time and what you wish to get out of the journaling, especially for daily contemplation like we are doing in December so really have something like a trigger I find lighting a candle or something like that really sets the tone that I'm now busy journaling and just having your ducks in a row in terms of glue and things um, for mindfulness for us as journalists it's very daunting to be faced with a blank page um, so that I find magazine images and paper packs very very helpful because a pack um, like we have in conjunction it gives you an idea of of what to use and can trigger it can trigger something so in this particular pack what caught my eye were the clocks um, and the fact that time should stand still and that it is my time to journal those sort of feelings and that's what I want to convey in my page for the day. Pages don't need to be very obvious. They can be your experience, how it makes you feel. Um, or it can be the actual thing. So what I've done is I've looked through. Um, it's a magazine, the Ideas magazine. They're very good with images and things. Their photography is very nice. And their paper's nice and matte. And I've pulled some images which bring mindfulness to mind for me. And one of them is this page, which shows all sorts of things, creative pastimes, and that is really when I am most focused and mindful. Um, I don't allow my cell phone and social media into my journaling space because I need to be busy with what I'm busy with. So that was the one image that I looked at. And the other image, which I ended up doing my page on, you'll see my finished page here, was um, this, this window. And then, as I said, the clocks were from the pack I cut them out it's called fussy cutting when you cut them nicely on their lines rather than just in a square um, when you glue um, use what you have I use any of these glues we are not archiving we are not doing things to be in museums in a hundred years time uh, if it comes loose after a while or if it fades, um, I think that's also okay. For us, the purpose was served in the moment. 
that we did it. So it can also be transient. Um, I added some words, mindfulness, that was done with a stencil. And the key words that we have discussed, focused attention, be busy with what you are busy with, and paying attention on purpose, that came in on little to highlight them, little pieces of paper also from the pack. I've ruled through the clocks um, because when you are mindful, the clock shouldn't be shouldn't be top of mind and passing time shouldn't be top of mind. But for us in daily life, you do have responsibilities, so the clock can't be gone. It's a very calm page. It's a very simple page. I like dark colors. I like layering things. I like adding gold. I like adding more and more and more and more so for me for December daily and with the theme specifically um, I'm trying to pull myself back and steer myself in a different direction and also learn and I want you to also embrace the opportunity to do something different than what you would veer towards in your normal journaling or if you are a beginner to realize that it is okay to have a plain page with almost no effects. This is paper, cutouts, glue and some writing. Um, there's no mixed media, there's no special stamping, there's no um, special products needed. And this is, it's a page, I sat down, I did it, I focused my mind, I thought about how I can take these three um, headings into the month going forward and I will then use the back of the page for some more personal journaling. What we will look at tomorrow, tomorrow's prompt for day two, is gift giving and what it means and the technique for journaling will be hidden journaling. I know a lot of journalists don't like writing on their pages, they say it attracts because their handwriting isn't nice. I feel the same. You'll see there's not a lot of of writing. And the writing that I did, you know, the big one was with stencil. So it was uh, guided writing. But um, we need to learn to trust ourselves. So uh, please join in tomorrow um, for the next prompt and some techniques to look at. Um, this today, the day one, uh, mindfulness is really the golden thread that we want pulling through the whole of the December daily and also the purpose of journaling for us daily in December to create the habit and to hopefully take that forward into the new. We are talking today about how to prepare for a theme journal. Uh, people often make the mistake and I see that um, when they do a theme journal, they think that the theme must be literally everywhere, on every page, on every element, on every card, on every sticker, on every ribbon. And it doesn't need to be because a theme is more than just an image. When you prepare for a theme journal, um, that's what makes these paper packs so versatile and so good to use. It prompts you what colors can be used, what elements are good, and it's maybe things that you didn't think about, and then you can build on that. A journal consists of special pages, so it would be something like a digital printable or scrapbook papers, um, and then it also consists of stock papers, I can call them that. That would be your coffee or your tea dyed papers. Um, Special papers. This is a journal page from 1948. Obviously, you you can't do your whole journal from that, but just that adds a bit of of a, of a special touch. Things that aren't obviously supposed to be in journals: doilies, uh, paper bags, um, vellum, fabric, packaging. That's pretty. Um, that can all form part of your journal. When you are building on your journal, think about color. Think about in which color family you are working. I cannot be putting a very, let's have a look, bright, funky, hashtag, selfie, um, these sort of things, 
not so great in a vintage farmhouse, but maybe in a pretty princess. So think about where you are, what you want to convey. Sometimes an element will seem okay until you add it to the others and then it won't be okay. Play around, lay it out. Um, one thing may trigger another. I can never put a succulent in a journal, but the colorway, the purples and the silvery greens may trigger me to think that I can put something else in. Um, I am going to talk about texture in journal in the journal a lot. Um, texture is is just what it says how something feels. Um, so a velvet ribbon adds a very different feeling to a braided trim to something roughier to a scrap piece of fabric. They can all sit very nicely in your journal, but it's when you start layering them that they become interesting. With paper, to get texture is you use different finishes, so you can use a brown paper versus a gloss paper, or something with a, a shine, a sheen, a pearlescence on it. Different weights, cardboard versus tracing paper next to each other. Trims, obviously, the very easiest way to add texture, Lace, laces, crochet, fabric. Wood adds a nice texture. Um, doilies, things that you may not think needs to be in a journal. Denim pocket. Uh, don't don't discount items. I like adding wild cards. So that is quite a bold, it's a serviette. Uh, that's quite a bold pattern. But the colors are good and the colors tie in with all the other elements that we've got. So maybe it will work. I love adding birds to my journals because of what they symbolize. So if you have something that means a lot to you personally, try and include it in your journal even though it may not seem to work with the theme initially. That is what makes a journal special to you, and that is what will make you want to use the journal. The next item to look at is movement. Movement through a journal. How do you create movement? Different size papers. So, for example, that is a very standard A5, A4 folded in half, um, and then... Most people will fold another A4 over it, but something like a very tiny card. So play with scale to create movement, um, play with shapes. Uh, journals are very often rectangular, so to add an oval creates movement, to create uh, circles, doilies, triangles, uh, layering creates movement. Something that is interactive, so again, if we would take the Christmas card and you put it on top of a page and you need to open it before you page, creates interesting movement in a journal. Repeating of elements and colors creates good movement. So if there is a bird here, to have a bird of maybe the same color or exactly the same bird, 10 pages on, makes your mind think, oh, I've seen this bird and you are paging to and fro in your journal. So those are things to consider when making a themed journal. I like putting things out like this, adding it, thinking that actually doesn't work, that does work, that could work. Um, that's the first time I'm bringing roses in. Maybe, maybe not. This is probably too orange. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. So just, just, Playing, just adding um, things that may not be obvious. I mean, that won't work, but it's the the feeling. Um, so maybe a dull metal will work, but not a, a gold metal. Um, once I have looked at things like this, I put the things that were inspirational, like this and, for example, the succulents, to one side. 
because I still like looking at them and the things that I can use to another side. I try and make my choices together. So I look at everything together. I add, I take away, I add, I take away, and then I call it a day. And that is what I work with on my journal because it can drive you mad looking for the perfect trim or the perfect sticker or digging through your stash or thinking that this wasn't right. Be cons consider what you are doing when you put your things together and work with it. It makes journaling a lot easier if you limit your choices. And that ties in with today's prompt, which is mindfulness, that when you are doing your journal and when you are doing your page and when you are sitting down to focus on your on your daily item that you don't get distracted by looking for other things what you have to hand and what you have put together and what you have set aside will serve you well there is no such thing as perfection in journaling there is always something better to do something different to do something that you do on the tuesday after you've had a hard day is probably very different to what you do on a Sunday after you had a lovely family day. So don't don't judge yourself. Don't judge yourself too harshly. Um, it's a journey and December Daily really is to get into a habit of journaling and to start feeling the joy. Having spoken at length, um, let's do a, a recap uh, and how mindfulness and preparing a theme journal can tie in and help you towards the December Daily a theme journal and specifically a themed also timed journal can be can be small you don't need a lot of pages 30 days is not so much so what i've done is i've taken some pages like we discussed and i've punched some holes in and i've roughly put them in the file and this is what it would look like bird like i said i love the bird coffee dye different color and texture so it would page just like a journal or you can have them loose every day. This is from the kit. Another coffee dye. Little bag so things can go in there. Scrapbook paper. So this will work on as we go. Some of the ledger paper that got caught in the rain. So your choice is to do something like that in the front or to do a page loose a day like I did for day one. But the fact of the matter is if you are prepared, um, if you limit your choices, if you structure your choices, you will be more willing to journal. Um, because it takes less time, it's quicker to do, even five minutes you can use, and as a result, you will end up being more mindful. Thank you very much. If you have comments, leave them in the comment section of the video or on the course, and I can address them either with um, comments uh, in future videos or in supplementary videos. Thank you very much for watching, and thank you very much for joining the course. Bye-bye.